On this week's card, guys, we have Saeed Nurmagomedov coming back against Douglas Silva de Andrade in what to me is going to be a sleeper fight of the night. But before we get into it, guys, this video is sponsored by Full Reptile Collective, brought to you by Dan Hardy. Head over to their website at fullreptile.co.uk where you can find anything from training gear, t-shirts, hoodies, all the way to coffee. For an exclusive 10% off, use Dan Said So at checkout. Make sure to also check out their YouTube channel for some of the best MMA content out there, bar my own. Let's get back to the video. All right, guys, let's start with Saeed Nurmagomedov because what he's shown in his UFC tenure so far is a real dynamic skill set when it comes to striking. Turning side kicks, wheel kicks, throws way too many spinning back fists that don't land for me, but he's showing that he's explosive and creative and unorthodox all the time. But the technique behind all these moves are flawless. They're, they're perfect almost. He has an excellent question mark kick and one of the difficulties he had was closing range and, and really avoiding damage against someone like Rani uh, Barcelos. That's pretty much his only flaw in the UFC so far. He's obviously lost once in the regional scene as well, but we can talk about really Cody Stamen, his last time out. So Cody Stamen was his third first round finish in his last four fights. Out of the last four fights, he obviously lost one. Barcelos has won the other three all by first round finish. Cody Stamen came out the gates in great shape. He has excellent cardio, he's a super fat, powerful dude. He's got excellent wrestling, great hands, strong, came out and just got a obliterated. He got landed with spinning techniques, he got hit with hooks, he got hit with takedown, and he obviously got finished very quickly. I think the fight was 40 seconds or so. Saeed Nurmagomedov showed a level up to his game because he took on a much better opponent than he's been taking on, or for, in my opinion anyway, recently, and he decimated them. He definitely needed a step up here. I don't know if Andrade is a step up. Andrade has fought a lot of good guys, hasn't beaten them all. He's fought people like Piotr Yan, he's fought you know, Chido Vera has been Chido Vera as well. But the point is, is he really a better guy than someone like Cody Stamen? I think they're probably on the same level. So, with a win here, Saeed Nurmagomedov definitely needs a ranked opponent for me. With a loss here, we're going to see some holes in his game open up. One more quick thing, guys, is Mark Striegel, obviously, when he got hit with those ground and pound shots, relentless, vicious. That's what Nurmagomedov does here. When he smells blood, he doesn't let you off the hook. And Ricardo Ramos took it as well when he got hit with those body kicks. Do you remember those, like, gunshots? I really think if, if, he, he, if he hurts Andrade, he's not going to let him off the hook here. He's going to smell blood, he's going to kill. Now we can talk about Andrade, the inconsistent man that fights a lot of good guys. You know, he, he just beat Morosov, which he was losing up until he won. Morosov was kicking his ass. Let's put it, let's be frank, you really hurt him in that first round. Second round comes out, it's a different story. Andraj in the end did tap Morosov. We're not sure how good Morosov is at this point. Had a very competitive fight until he lost against Duman Magomedov. And now a very he was doing extremely well against someone like Andraj here, who is physically very heavy, top heavy in this division as well. So physically strong with the underhooks, with the grappling against the cage. He, he whooped him from start to finish. And I think he just gassed. He got clipped in that second by the overhand right. And then from then on, just wasn't the same. Andrade really hurt him. He rattled his brain, he shook him about, and then he took over. But he was so close to being ended a few times in that fight. If you do that against Saeed, I don't see a way out. I think Saeed will, he has a thousand ways to finish you. He can pinpoint accurate vicious ground and pound you. He can kick you in the head as you get back up. He could put you against the cage and just stand and guillotine you. The guy's got excellent wrestling, superb submissions, neck attacks, flawless. His striking is that of Umar Nurmagomedov. I wouldn't say it's as good, but it's as dynamic and creative and it's a similar thing. Lots of Nurmagomedovs in this video. But Andrade is really going to have to watch those things because he fires such looping overhand shots. They're so powerful, they're wild. He doesn't step in that well from recent memory of what, what we've seen of him lately. He used to, and he's kind of taken a back step. I'm not sure whether it's because of age, father time catching up, but... He looked damn good when he turned it around against Morisov, but I don't know if he's going to be able to implement that kind of damage because he's notably as well a slow starter. The only way I can see, because he is a slow starter, if Nurmagomedov comes out the gate, he could land what he landed against Pirello, where he's on the back foot and he's countering. He did get a first round knockout two fights ago because he countered with that hook. Those are the sort of things you're going to have to do with Nurmagomedov. He's going to push the pace. I should have just kept saying Saeed. He's going to push that pace. He's going to back you against that cage and he's going to unleash the full dynamic striking to keep you guessing. If you manage to block, if you manage to evade, if you manage to, to, to counter all of his attacks, he's going to grab your legs and he's going to dump you on your ass. 
Andrade has been put on his ass time and time again by many different people. Is that he's got jujitsu in his back pocket, but it's not that high level to the point where you're actually worried about it as the opposition. You know, Saeed here is, has got better jujitsu in my opinion. He's got better sambo. He's got better ground control, and that's what we're seeing as the development goes. For me, guys, I personally think Saeed Nurmagomedov is going to get him out of there within a round. It might go two rounds, but I think this is just. I think you're going to see the advancements in Saeed's game. He's a young man. I think he's going to... What he showed against Stamen just blew me away. And I'm, I'm fully aboard his train right now. So I'm on Saeed's back, guys. Who are you riding for this one? Let us know in the comments below. Like the video if you have enjoyed it, guys. And subscribe to the channel if you are new. We'll see you in the next one, guys. Enjoy the fights. Cheers.